Okay, and the second app that I use every day in this installment of my top three apps is called Ecamm Live. And just a quick disclosure, I actually only use this about every other day, so it's an almost daily, it almost fit that daily bucket. So let's talk about what Ecamm is. Ecamm is a broadcast studio for your Mac computer that allows you to live stream to Facebook, YouTube, and many other sources and also lets you add things like titles, graphics, comments, and you can add all those on the fly during your live stream, just like a real broadcast studio would. It also allows you to connect multiple camera sources so that way you can switch between one camera view or another, especially if you have guests on or if you have other people that are being interviewed. And the cost of Ecamm Live starts at around $12 per month for their basic package, but they do offer a 14-day free trial. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to check out more. Hey, I'm Brad Poirier, and I'm a content strategist, and I help small businesses just like yours get clarity around what your content strategy should be and how to implement it, whether that's by hiring a pro like me or by giving you a guided coach approach. So if you want to create content that converts, then be sure to hit that subscribe button so I can help you give your content a kick in the butt. So here's how I use Ecamm Live. First, I use it to schedule all of my live streams to Facebook on a weekly basis. So I have a weekly podcast that's on Wednesdays at 10 a.m. And on Monday or Tuesday, I will schedule that live stream so it appears as a preview post on my news feed which lets my audience be alerted of my next guest that will be on the podcast for The Morning Impact. If you want to check out previous episodes that I've used with Ecamm Live, go to themorningimpact.com and you can see all of the episodes there. So again, that's themorningimpact.com. The second way I use this is to do the actual live stream on Facebook on Wednesdays. And so when we do this live stream on Wednesday, I have a operator here who is switching the cameras between myself, the operator, and my one or two guests that I have on. So each person gets their own camera. And during that live stream, we can switch between all of those cameras. So it makes it for a really, really neat live stream instead of just having one camera angle the entire time. And then that can get pretty boring, especially when it's for an extended length video. And then I also do things like add titles. I'll add the Instagram handle for each of the guests or each of the people that are on this interview um, so that way people can check them out later. The third way that I use Ecamm Live is to actually just record local talking head videos just like the one you're watching right now. The reason I do that instead of recording directly to my camera is Ecamm actually compresses the file a little bit and so 4K recording on a Canon camera traditionally has a very large recording size um, and so I actually like that Ecamm compresses it a little bit because it saves it directly to my computer where I won't have to then transfer the file from my SD card over to the computer. It just automatically saves it in real time pretty much. The fourth way that I use this uh, sometimes with Ecamm is I also use it as a screen recording with a little camera bubble. So if you ever see tutorials that people do where they're recording their screen and then perhaps they have themselves as like in a little camera bubble down in the corner, um, there's several different types of software available. I just use Ecamm because it's already baked into that program so I don't need to use anything else. And the last kind of unique way that I've used Ecamm recently is to make um, green screen videos for students uh, during the career day that uh, we did at the convention center a few weeks ago. Uh, I went ahead and made these vertical videos uh, for the students there and then we superimposed them in front of things like a football stadium or the Grammys or Universal Studios as they were telling us what their career aspirations were and then they were able to take that video home that day. There was no editing needed later in post-production. We literally shot the video, superimposed them, put a title on it and then sent them the file immediately after. So those are pretty much the five ways that I use Ecamm Live, but I have a question for you. Are you live streaming now? Um, and if so, where are you live streaming to? Is it on Facebook? Is it YouTube? 
uh, Twitter has an option as well, or maybe some other place that you're live streaming to. And again, this is the second video of a three-part series of the three tools that I use every day to create content for my business. If you wanna be able to see the others, then just go ahead and click on the playlist linked below and you can see all of the other videos there. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching. Uh, remember to subscribe and hit the like button and I'll see you on the next one.